We have a black president. I hope he keeps going. I, I hope he gets reelected because I don't want to have to stop doing this joke. I uh, really. I, I think it's great. I think it's long overdue, man. I can't believe it took this long. But I will admit, though, I will admit, unlike the rest of you white people, that I think we kind of screwed black people a little bit. Like, we couldn't have ran this country any farther into the toilet. And they were like, hey, I got an idea. Uh, why don't we let black people run for a little bit? <laughs> Seriously, if I'm you guys, I'm like, no, that's all right. We don't want it. No, we'll wait. Give it to the Mexicans. We don't want it. We don't want it. I went to Canada, you ever go there on purpose? Wow, it's a, uh, I swear it was like going back in time. Like I got there, I felt like I should thank Marty McFly for the ride. It was so, it's like 1978 in Canada. That's the only way I can explain it. They have this gas station, I go to this gas station. First of all, they have the metric system, which is a nice joke we played on Canada. Oh yeah, we're gonna switch over to Canada. All right, have a good one. And then we just never did it. They get you back though, because I go to the gas station and it says uh, like $1.27 on the pump. I was like, oh my God, I'm making money on this trip, you know? <laughs> and then I fill the tank up and it's $198. And when you're high and you see math like that, <laughs> you just lock up. I didn't know what to do. I actually opened the trunk. I'm like, did I just fill the trunk up with gas? <laughs> The first one I went to, I couldn't figure out how to work the gas pump. That's how old everything is in Canada. Like you had to put the hose in and then you got to manually crank the gas into your car. I'm guessing, I couldn't figure it out. I was moving things around. I'm serious, I tried for like five minutes. I could not figure this thing out. Finally I go in the gas station. I was like, dude, I don't know how to run that gas pump out there because I'm from the future. <laughs> Almost got in a fight with a British guy. I was in Vegas a while back. He, uh, he was speaking British at the table. And, uh, I didn't know what he was saying. Everything sounded like, all right, all right, I'm British, all right, all right. Like, that's all I got. I, I'm sure he was saying stuff, but all I heard was, all right, all right, all right. And I guess they don't like when you run up to them and just go, oh, you're British. There, there was a whole flock of them checking into the hotel, right? It was like three in the morning, and they, got, they all came on a bus or whatever. And they were all, they were all being British. They were all, oh, look at everything, it's lovely, it's lovely, right? It was like, you ever see March of the Penguins, when all the penguins are, that's what it was like, it's lovely, it's lovely. Right? I ran up, I ran up, and I was like, oh, you fellas from Britain. This guy's like, stop it. <laughs> Stop it, or I'll give you a knocking. That's what I'll do. I swear to you, that's what he said. Stop it, or I'll give you a knocking. I figured out that's how British people fight. What they do is they say, Stop it, or I'll give you a knocking. All right. And then while you're laughing, they beat the hell out of you. You guys, thank you very much. My name is Mike Merrifield. Thank you very much, everybody.